At five, a Valley family is trying to raise awareness for veteran suicide rates. An ASU study finds Arizona veterans are nearly four times more likely to kill themselves. But sadly, statistics like these don't get reported every year to state lawmakers. Team 12's Tram Mai shows us what one family already dealing with tragedy is doing to change that. After 9-11, Antoine Castaneda knew he wanted to join the Army to make sure this kind of attack never happened again. He did multiple tours of duty in Iraq and Afghanistan as an Army Ranger. After he came home from the Army, he suffered with PTSD and I believe a traumatic brain injury and he sought help constantly. Antoine's mother-in-law claims he became withdrawn and this husband and father of two girls never got the mental help he so desperately needed. He couldn't handle it anymore and the demons took over and he ended his life on his 32nd birthday. Now, three years later. I think that this is important. I think that it must cover those veterans who are susceptible to suicide. It is State Representative Jay Lawrence it announcing a bill that would require the Arizona Department of Health Services to compile yearly statistics on veteran suicides and share that information with the state legislature and the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs beginning January 1st, 2020. By tracking these numbers, it's a way for the state to figure out how to find more solutions. We want people to know that there's resources, that there's people there, that everyone is here to support veterans. The stigma that it's weak to seek help. So I really hope in the future that our veterans get, you know, more mental health care that they need. So that our veterans aren't suffering in silence and don't have to go through what Antoine and his family did. Tramai 12 News.